Hey there, let's talk about a topic that's quietly yet seriously affecting our environment, economy, and even our daily lives. Invasive species. These animals might seem harmless at first glance, but they're wreaking havoc across the United States. From farms to waterways, these creatures are changing ecosystems and making life harder for both humans and wildlife. I've put together a list of nine of the most destructive invasive animals in the U.S. So let's dive in and see what we're up against. One, Nutria, the swamp rat menace. First up, we've got the Nutria, also known as swamp rats. These large rodents came from South America back in the 1930s when they were brought over for the fur trade. But when the industry collapsed, Nutria were released into the wild, and that's when the trouble started. These critters are especially problematic in Louisiana, where they dig along riverbanks, causing major soil erosion. This not only ruins habitats for native species like muskrats and fish, but also messes with water quality. Their eating habits and breeding rates make them tough to control. Authorities are using a mix of hunting, trapping, and habitat management to tackle the problem. Despite their innocent appearance, these swamp rats are a big deal and managing them is an ongoing battle. Next on the list is the European starling, a bird with a surprising backstory. In the 1890s, a group of Shakespeare fans decided to introduce every bird mentioned in his plays to North America. That's how starlings got here, and boy, have they taken over. These birds are aggressive, especially around livestock. They swarm in huge flocks, stealing food from cattle and harassing them. This behavior can stress livestock and lead to economic losses for farmers. While their aerial displays might look stunning, their impact on agriculture is anything but. Managing their populations is a challenge, but necessary to protect native species and farms. You've probably encountered a stink bug or two. They love to sneak into houses and make themselves at home. These bugs don't mean to bother you, they're just looking for a cozy place to hibernate during the winter. But come spring, they're ready to mate and multiply, leading to a population boom. Stink bugs are bad news for farmers because they destroy fruits and vegetables, driving up produce prices. They first appeared in Pennsylvania in 1998, likely hitching a ride from China. Back in their native habitat, they have predators like parasitic wasps to keep their numbers in check. But here in the U.S., they're thriving unchecked and causing serious damage to agriculture. Now let's talk about feral hogs, also known as wild pigs or boars. These animals are a force to be reckoned with. Found in 47 states, with large populations in Texas, Florida, and Georgia, feral hogs are responsible for around $1.5 billion in damage annually. They're aggressive, adaptable, and have razor-sharp tusks. These hogs destroy crops, eat the eggs of ground-nesting birds like turkeys and quails, and even impede forest growth by devouring acorns and chestnuts. Managing them is no easy task, but it's essential to limit their impact on the environment and economy. The lionfish is a perfect example of beauty masking danger. With their striking stripes and flowing fins, they're undeniably gorgeous. But don't let their looks fool you. Lionfish are voracious eaters that will devour anything small enough to fit into their mouths. Native to the Indo-Pacific, lionfish have no natural predators in U.S. waters, allowing their populations to grow rapidly. They're a serious threat to marine ecosystems, outcompeting native fish and disrupting the balance of coral reef habitats. Controlling their numbers is tricky, but divers and conservationists are doing their best to protect our oceans. The Norway rat, also known as the sewer rat, has been a part of the U.S. landscape since 1775. Despite their name, these rats are originally from Asia and have made themselves at home in every state, even Alaska and Hawaii. Norway rats are incredibly adaptable. They live near humans, feasting on whatever they can find, garbage, crops, and even wood. They're a nightmare for farmers and homeowners alike as they contaminate food supplies, damage infrastructure, and spread diseases. Their resilience makes them one of the most challenging pests to control. Tagus are robust lizards that look like oversized versions of brown anoles. These reptiles have a knack for finding eggs, whether they belong to native birds or sea turtles. They've even been known to harass pets and in rare cases, attack cats. Originally brought to the U.S. as exotic pets, some tagus were released into the wild by their owners. They've since spread rapidly, particularly in the southeastern states. Their impact on native wildlife is concerning, and efforts are underway to control their populations before they cause further damage. You might not think much about a tiny bug, but the Asian citrus psyllid is a serious problem. This little insect carries a bacterium that causes citrus greening disease, which deforms and eventually kills citrus trees. 
Florida, the heart of the U.S. citrus industry, has been hit the hardest. With half of its citrus trees infected, the state's orange juice production is at risk. The psyllid has also spread to other citrus-producing states like Texas and California. Controlling the spread of this disease is critical to preserving the citrus industry. Rounding out the list, let's revisit the lionfish. I know we already talked about them, but their impact is worth emphasizing. These predators are not just a problem for the U.S. They're an issue for ecosystems throughout the Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean. Their ability to reproduce rapidly and their lack of natural predators make them an ongoing challenge for marine conservation efforts. Each of these invasive species has its own story, but the common thread is how they've adapted and thrived in environments where they don't belong. The damage they cause affects ecosystems, agriculture, and even our daily lives. From swamp rats to citrus silids, these animals remind us of the delicate balance in nature and how easily it can be disrupted. The good news, people across the country are stepping up to manage and mitigate the damage. Whether it's through hunting, trapping, habitat management, or community awareness, efforts are underway to tackle these invasive species. But it's a big job, and it's not something that can be solved overnight. So what do you think? Are these stories as surprising to you as they were to me? If you've seen any of these invasive species in your area, I'd love to hear about it. Let's keep the conversation going and figure out how we can all do our part to protect our environment. Thanks for listening, and let's stay informed and proactive together.